Hi, Eric Simpson here from The Personal Trainer Career, where I work with personal trainers who are looking to specialise in weight loss coaching and training, which I believe is the natural evolution for the personal training business. Today I'm going to speak about uh, the client's buying cycle, your potential client's buying cycle. And it's something you really need to understand because until you understand that there is a buying cycle, you may find yourself uh, falling at the very first hurdle, which is uh, often what a lot of trainers do. They put some literature out there, flyers or give a talk, and they're expecting almost an immediate response. Well, you may just get lucky and find that there are one or two people out there who are right here, right now, at that moment in time, you just happen to have met at the right time and they're ready to buy. But that's not often the case. The reality is it can take people who are considering uh, an investment into something like personal training, which is, let's face it, you know, quite a considerable amount of money, it can be. It's going to take them a period of time to sort of really think and do some research before they decide to purchase. So here's a couple of things they're going to be going through just so that you can get comfortable with the fact that people are not responding you know, overnight. The first thing is they've got to get to know about you and that can be done in any number of ways. And there's some really easy ways and there's some uh, almost free ways of doing it other than your time to implement. So some of the uh, easy ways are things like flyers that can, uh, you can be distributing relatively inexpensively just to raise your awareness in your community. You can give talks uh, to groups, networking groups, business groups. You can put together videos like this, put them on YouTube and uh, market those to people. So, and what else can you do? You could do joint ventures where you offer to go into uh, practices like physios, chiropractors, put your face out there. They get to know about you. They can spread the word about you. So for the client, they now might get exposed to you in any number of ways. It may be they've heard you speak, they've seen you fly, and they've heard a professional speak about you. So they're getting to know about you. And in getting to know about you, they're getting to work out whether or not they actually like you. Because let's face it, if they don't feel as though they like you, then they're never going to contact you. Then the next step is they've got to learn to trust you as well. So they've got to know about you, feel as though they like you, and feel as though they trust you. And if you're appearing in all these different places, then by the time they get in contact with you, there's every chance that you're going to do some business with them because they've gone through this process of getting to know about you, like you, and trust you. But understand, in the weight loss market, that can take somebody a, a long time, anywhere between three and, I say, six years plus. So your mindset, when you're working in this market, has to be the long game. You cannot be thinking about, I'll put some flies out there this week and I'll get some phone calls next week. You cannot be thinking that way because that is short-term thinking, that's quick fix thinking, and that's not going to get you anywhere fast. So you need to be thinking about the buying cycle of the client and it can be anywhere between three months and six months. So your job, in my opinion, is to get as much information, quality information, out to the marketplace that you want to serve as often as you can, using different medium, so they get the opportunity to go through that buying cycle, that mental cycle of getting to know about you, like you, and trust you. So when they do contact you, they are pretty much predisposed to buying from you because they'll feel at that point as if they almost know you. Hopefully you found that of use. Uh, if you do have any questions at all about this topic or any other topic to do with um, uh, personal training, in particular weight loss coaching and training, then feel free to send me either an email or contact me via Facebook if that's how you're listening to this. And I'll be more than happy to um, either answer it or put together a video just like this one to answer your question. Until next time, take care and bye for now.